Welcome everyone to Summer in Mera, a game that was released officially today actually. Although some individuals such as those Kickstarter supporters got it a couple days early, but today the 16th of June is actually the official launch date of this game. So I have been highly anticipating this game, mainly due to the fact that, well, oh, I, should, I should put my volume down, on my end at least. Let me go ahead and do that. There we go. But yeah, I've been anticipating this game so much, mainly due to the fact that this game actually is pretty similar to the Harvest Moon slash Story of Seasons series, and I obviously dedicate myself a lot to um, to that series. I've done plenty of Harvest Moon Let's Plays, uh, because it is a series that is very, very dear and close to my heart. Anyway, um, there's volume sound effects. I'm just going to keep all this like this, obviously. I'm sure English was default, but yeah. Okay. And then there's credits. I'm not going to look at credits. That's for the end, you know, not for the beginning, in my opinion. Um, all right, let's go ahead and start. Okay, so I will let you know on something, though. I actually, despite me looking forward to it so much, I purposely didn't actually um, look too much into the gameplay of, um, of this game so much because I wanted to, like basically not spoil stuff for myself and I know that sounds kind of ridiculous in the year of 2020 because that used to be a thing back then like I guess all the cool people used to do that but now the cool people are all about like looking at spoilers and teasers and all this stuff to be so well informed about the game before it launches so like by the launch date you like are an expert at it um, but I I'm a little more traditional I like to keep my you know spoilers and stuff and like to a minimum all right, so, wow, that's cool. Oh my god. All right, so here we go. Um, so one thing that I already do do know about, um, and I randomly saw this on some on some Twitter thing, is that you actually cannot flip the x axis and y axis. I believe. Let me make sure on that before I criticize the game. <laughs> but yeah, I'm gonna start with a small critique uh, that people actually said that. Anyway, um, okay, so. Interesting. All right, so you can jump. Cool. Oh my god, you can actually just jump on top of buildings and shit. That's hilarious. All right. Um. Yaya Haku. Um. Huh. On the island, there's always work to do. Yeah. So one thing that I do with my let's plays, if you are new to the channel, is the fact that I don't read word by word in the dialogue I actually like to I like to do things a little bit differently you know okay here's an orange let's hit oh my god <laughs> that looked really funny all right so the Y button is basically the action button in this game I'm realizing it's Y and not A Y is to talk Y is to hit trees Y is to pick up okay uh, so that's one. Oh. well that's a little unfortunate that she doesn't let you do that. Anyway, I have to get three oranges. Did it say oranges? Okay, let me actually look at this. Collect three oranges to make juice for breakfast. Okay, well these are these are carrots. Do I want to harvest those right now? I mean I probably do, but okay, here's another one. Let's grab that. That's two right there. And then three should probably be down here. So what is that? What the f Okay, so I'm just pressing Y there where the well is. That's that's interesting. That's happening. Okay. All right, you can also run by basically holding the R2 or ZR, whatever. You you know what I mean. Just freaking PlayStation over here. All right, let's go ahead and grab that. Okay. Oh my gosh, you runs fast. My God. All right, so I have three. Energize, yes, but yeah, like I was saying, I don't like to read word by word. I know that all of you can read, basically, so I just like to highlight certain things. I might read a line here or there, but for the most part, I don't do that. Pick up a hoe and prepare the field. Oh, hell yeah, I'll get my hoe. Okay, shut up. Carrot seeds. Okay, sounds good. Alright, so I got some carrot seeds. You got, ooh, nice. You got a hoe. Sounds good. Select the hoe to interact with the soil. Alright, so basically, 
I'm pressing all the buttons right now um, just to kind of see if I'm missing something here. So X does nothing, B does jump, A and there's Y. The minus button is just literally resume and exit. Uh, pressing on the sticks does nothing from what I can see. Okay. So I have to figure out... Ah, oh, there we go. So it's the pad. Okay. So up... They're basically, okay, shortcuts and you get to swap out for stuff. Cool. That's how you do it. And there's gun. I'll look it down later. So here's the hoe. Um, select, the, select the hoe to interact with the soil. Mm. I need a better hoe. Oh, okay. So I have to come over here. And you press it three times. Can you hold it? You can hold it and she'll do it, okay, faster. That's cool. Now let's go ahead and, uh, oh, okay, you just press Y to plant, sounds good. And there we go, that's a plant. Get water from the well to water the field. Oh, that's what that was, okay, okay, so there's no, like, watering can in here, you just literally get water and then you just... <laughs> Interesting. Do I have to do it to these two? Doesn't seem like it, no. Okay. Um. Everything is ready. Firewood. Um. Okay. Stone and a bit of wood. Got it. Mm -hmm. uh, take the materials, go inside the house, and build it at the workshop. Sounds good. So I got one stone and three wood. Alright, so I have to go inside the house, you said. Why is it Y for action button and not A? That's really weird. Okay, so there's basically four different options here, but I can only do tools right now by the looks of it. Alright, so three wood and one stone makes an axe. So I'm crafting an axe. It's very sharp, yeah, no shit. Okay. And what's next? So basically pressing up is a shortcut for quest. Talk with Haku to get to the next mission. But she's over here, okay. Or he- wait, oh my god, I don't even know. It sounds so, so horrible. Also, wait, I, should I try- I didn't even try this, I just skipped the carrots. Can I, um... Yeah, I can't- I can grab these, apparently. I don't know if I should be doing that, but I'm gonna grab them. Alright, so that's my carrot, there we go. And I need a better hoe for that. Uh, let's see if I can find some oranges on the way down here. There's one. I'll go ahead and grab that. Might as well just start getting ahead of this, you know? By grabbing a couple things here and there. It's more over there, but I'll get that later. Let's see what you got. Um, Look at this axe. Okay. Mm -hmm. the Mara. Life flows through this big ocean surrounding us. Yes. Oh. Okay. Um. Take a seat. When you are finished cutting down the tree, go plant the seed somewhere on the island. That's an equal exchange. Got it. But we also got lumber by cutting it down, right? New quest. Cut down the tree with the axe and plant a pine nut with the hoe so that a new tree can grow. Okay. So I basically have to swap over to the axe. Okay. And as always, you can just hold. I believe it takes three. It always takes three. It's been taking three for everything. Now I can grab that. Some lumber. Whoops, I, I didn't mean to... I, no, I want to... I want to take... Oh my gosh, there we go. Alright, so that's that. Uh, I'm going to grab this orange over here, because why not? Oh my god, there's so many oranges. I didn't mean to... Oh shit. I meant to... Actually, should I just cut it down? Is this dumb? You know what, I'm not going to mess with it, because what if, what if I shouldn't be doing that? Okay, let's go to hand. Yes. That will not make the tree, you know? Fall. All right. So what I'm gonna have to do? Cut down the tree with the axe and plant a pine nut with the hoe so that a new tree can grow. So can I just literally put it? Why did it say? Give me the option to plant. Like, did you all see that? Oh, okay. So I guess you can. It only says orange. 
I'm experimenting as you can see, I'm learning all this. Alright, let's go ahead and do this here. Still grabbing this stuff, a lot of oranges. There's a cave in there too. Okay, wait, so let, let me put it there. Why did it... Okay, are, are you all seeing this? How come it highlighted the pine nut? Oh my god, wait. Okay, now it's... Dude, I swear, I, I, was, I was literally scrolling. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not even kidding you people. What the hell was that? Okay, that, that was... That was real weird. Now it's starting to work. Okay, so let's try this again. If I could just press X here and I do this... Careful with... I didn't get to read that whole message. Careful with the obstacles. Oh, okay. So if I just put it like over here, find flatter terrain. So here. There it is. That simple. Okay, got it. <laughs> the tree is now planted. Okay, I water it every day. Um. Orange jam. Make some jam in the house, okay. Um, where's another well? Isn't there another well here somewhere? Yeah, there's one here. I think I need to water my, uh, my tree. You know? Okay, wait. So this is something that I have not... That was the icon of watering? Okay, that's really. Hopefully, I did it. That that's that part has been a little bit finicky, the whole watering thing. But I'll figure that out later. I'm just gonna go back inside now. And let's see here. So now we're gonna go on to kitchen this time. Okay, now it's letting me scroll. Sweet. Uh, then there's sleep, which I can't do. There's also okay. There's hmm. All right, so let's go ahead and do orange jam here. So we need one of the, each of those. And there we go, the jam is delicious. I'm going to bring Yaya some of it. Sounds good. Okay, I should just start running, seriously. Wait. Am I tripping? Oh, you're down here now. All right, all right, I see. Try the jam, or are we gonna have fish for dinner? Okay. Why do pirates never come here? Oh my god. Um. Neo and Nao. The island is very beautiful. Yes. It actually is. I do like the visuals a lot. It, it looks very appealing. I am appreciating that quite a lot. Um. Okay. Sounds good. Will do. You got a new recipe. Re resin flow. Okay. Collect fuel from the uh, Guardian's door fountain and bring it to Yaya. Collect fuel from the Guardian's... What in the fuck? Okay. Oh my gosh, should I explore like everywhere? No, right? I don't think I should be doing that yet. This is so funny. You can just like... <laughs> it's kind of cool. You can just run super fast and jump everywhere, you know? Also, this place looks pretty suspicious here. I don't know what that's all about. Let's grab that, okay. Lots of oranges, I mean, I appreciate that. Um, see, I think I saw something... Was it over here? This thing running. Oh my god, that was such a high jump. I don't think I should be doing that. It says to collect fuel from the Guardian's Door Fountain. Guardian's Door Fountain. Oh my god. What is this? This looks kind of cool. Some more pretty boats from up here. Yeah. 
Okay, she's just saying that by her, by herself. I'm just letting you know. Also, can you can do you take damage from heights? <laughs> yeah, right. In a Harvest Moonlight game. Okay, set. I can set those on fire. Okay. That's good to know. Anyway, there was like yeah, here it is. This little cave thing here. What is this? Okay, that's a mining point. I can I can tell that that's a mining point. Where does this lead? Is this where I have to go? Oh my god, it is. <laughs> Old tank. I fill a tank. That's it. Okay. <laughs> Interesting. Take care of the door. Don't mess with the door. Alright, let's go to run back now. So I did find the right place. The right location. Oh my god, can you imagine if somebody doesn't, doesn't discover the run button and they're just like this? That's going to take forever for them. Alright, so we're going to go down to... I think you're down here. What is this? Okay, I just took that, whatever that is. It's pointing to the boat. Can you fall off here? Oh my god, you can. Okay, but apparently you can drown. Oh boy. Gotta be careful. Hello. Um. Chocolate? Um. You should never sell alone. That's it. Bye-bye. <laughs> and that's it. Yummy fish reservoir. First I need to catch a red-tailed catfish at the pond. I'm going to make one for myself at the workshop. Sounds good. Make a fishing rod at the workshop and close a house and catch a red-tailed catfish. Got it. Let's do it. We're going to run all the way back now. Because I want to see what I need of, to make the... Okay, so it's tools, right? Wooden rod, um, you need a... Wood? And resin flow, okay. How am I going to get one of those? Go fishing? So I ended up getting that. Regardless, I need to get more wood, which is actually fine. Because I can just go ahead and chop like literally any tree, right? There's an orange. Okay, so take, take, and then I'll take the orange too. That's cool. Alright, so the, the float, how do I get that thing? Is there a way to see your... Okay, I haven't done... Um, down, that's right. That's inventory. Carrot. Um, orange jam. Orange. Make a fishing rod at the workshop in Coast House and catch a red tail catfish. That's whatever. Okay, and that's basically it. Materials. Oh, I do have this. This material can be found under the tree bark. It can be used to make other items. Common worm. Okay. Let's try going back in there because I want to see. I haven't even seen like workshop, like what, what that is. There we go. That's how you do that. Okay, so you need one resin, one wood. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Now, I can go to tools and make this because I need three and one to make the wooden rod. Fish, some carrots. Yummy fish question mark cook yummy fish go to the lake and fish got it oh my god I think it's getting like it's evening now all right so I just come over here and press Y press the button when the indicator is green what did I just get trash hold on when it's green It's not green. Oh, I think it's saying blue.
Oh my god, that is a very interesting way on implementing the fishing mechanic. So basically, first of all, it looks like a dark blue, or not blue, sorry, it looks more like a teal blue-ish as opposed to just green. But, so you land up there and then you have to move your bar horizontally. That, sorry, that was a little bit fast for, like, you didn't get to see all that much there, but I'll try to explain it a little bit better later on. Alright, so this plus two carrots is going to make yummy fish question mark. We're going to go ahead and make that. This doesn't look right. I hope it's still edible. I must let the fire atop the mountain so that I can guide her. I just need a torch. That's easy. You got a new tool recipe. Okay, let me see what I need for that. I need one wood. That's it. Okay, I'll just go ahead and chop the one of the nearest trees here, I suppose. Might as well. Ooh, another orange. So far I'm liking this. It, it seems pretty simplistic, which usually I like simplicity in games, but not over the top simplicity to the point where a game is literally boring. And I'm not finding this boring right now, so that's cool. Um, Alright, so tools. Now we're going to go ahead and make this torch here. Okay. It's getting dark. Now it's time to let the fire at the mountain. Good thing I remembered. Okay. Let's go ahead and... So we need to run up to the mountain now. Okay, so those are all lit. Wait, I don't have my... What the f... Maybe it's not an actual tool. Maybe you just like... Oh, there we go. So I have to light all these. What is this? Oh, sorry. I thought that wasn't... Okay, that was weird. Here's another one. I can light that one, I suppose. And then there's this one. No. Did I did I miss one? Okay, so let me light that. What about? Well, hold on. Light the fire at the peak of the mountain. Am I blind here? Am I literally not seeing what I have to? This must be it, right? Okay, but the problem is that it's not, um... What happened to my torch? Did I not make a torch? No, I totally made a torch, right? I mean, I'm lighting... Oh, wait. Destroy? I don't want to destroy that. Okay. Okay, I need to figure this out. Wait. Oh my god. Okay, now I figured it out. So the torch is like separate. You basically light it first and then you grab the torch. Okay, that was a little bit a little bit weird. How do you put this away? Well, whatever. Talk with Haku to get to the next mission. If I can even find Haku, where the freaking hell is Haku? Haku! I need to look at the map here. Okay, this map is useless. Because I literally don't... Wait, the... what the fuck? There's a lot of torches everywhere, that's okay. I mean, that's that's interesting, I suppose. What the freaking hell? Okay. Um... I guess I'm just gonna run back to my place then maybe it's over yeah, I'm just running up now, so let's let's not do that. So so far this island is pretty small, but I'm sure there's different ways on areas where I'm gonna be able to like expand on that. Okay, the 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 boat. There you go. Don't fall. Don't fall. Hello. <laughs> oh 
Oh my god. Right, don't ever run away from your mistakes. Life lesson there. Come to Guardian's door. Okay. Take this key and get the chrysalis. So, chrysalis sphere I keep in my chest. Sounds good. Alright, pick up. Uh, cool. Let's do this. Okay, I also haven't explored over here yet. Is there something interesting here? I'm gonna guess no. But you never know, right? You truly never know. Okay, I was wrong. I was very wrong. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. So I think I have to go back into my, um... The house? Okay. Oh wait, what is this? Oh, that's what you mean. And here's the chrysalis. The chest is full of trinkets of mine. Sounds good. Meet Haku at the Guardian's door. Let's run. Let's run, run, run. Over to the Guardian's door. Also, I haven't gotten the hammer yet. But I'm pretty sure I will in a little bit, maybe. Okay, so we're getting some lore here, you know, some Summer and Mara lore. Love that. Or planting a seed. them out to eat really <laughs> okay with food all right go back home and sleep that's actually like a perfect way to end the video uh, in a few minutes I'm gonna go ahead and end it because I'm already at 30 minutes yeah so like always basically what I like to do is keep these videos at 30 minutes that's usually what I am end up doing to make I don't know, I just feel like that's a pretty good sizable amount. Anything less, anything more is... I mean, anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes is fine for a video when it comes to these gameplays. Um, let's go ahead and sleep. And let's see what happens. So, one thing that I don't know about is... How does this game save? Is it saving automatically? I like the art style of the game a lot though, I'm a huge fan of it. Both the actual gameplay art style plus st stuff like this, like little scenes. I do enjoy that. There's the pirates. So that was actually a pretty good intro overall. Um, perfect on the 30 minute mark too for all this and I feel like I figured out the basics. So that's a good start. Basically after this cutscene and we get control of our, of our character again I'm going to be ending the, the video, end of part one. 
and I'll definitely keep trying to post these uh, once every 12 hours, you know, just to just to give you all some content. This alongside my Yu-Gi-Oh! GX Spirit Color Let's Play. All right, well, that was some real good stuff there. Let's see what day two has for us. Not a single pirate ship in sight. Starving to death. Collect some berries from the wild bushes to make some juice. Okay, so I'm back at the top again. All right, so I guess I'm going to go ahead and end it here. So if you enjoyed this episode in any way, please be sure to like it. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. And as always, I will see you all next time. Bye-bye, everyone. Have a great and, of course, a fantastic day. Where the fuck did my carrots go?